Hey kid and welcome to this scientific ooh, and semi-mysterious kid time story time with Willow the water bear. Hey, red bear! Hey, green bear, what's up? Have you ever heard of a water bear? Uh, let's see, I've heard of a black bear, wait, a panda bear, uh, a grizzly bear, uh, 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 and a buffalo bear, of course, and then there's red bear, pink bear, green bear. But have you ever heard of a watcher bear? Nope, can't think that I have. Oh, I see why you're asking me. Well, fellas, I have a surprise for both of you. Oh, oh, the watcher bear, uh, 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 which I have to meet is actually a water dwelling. Yeah, we love water. Yeah, yeah we love water. Eight legged, what? Micro animal, what? That you can only see with a telescope. <gasps> what? I I can't even. Eight, eight leg, okay, you're just gonna have to read this because I, I can't, I can't picture this bear. Yeah, this is a really strange sounding bear. Well, it's not technically a bear. It's a tardigrade, but we'll get to that in a minute. It is called, however, colloquially, a water bear. So we're gonna discover all about Willow and the water bear. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? It's sort of glowing. See, you can see it in the glow because it's in silver marker. Houston T. Kid, the author, autographs this for you and me. And he dedicates this to you. You, with the burning desire to question everything, the unquenchable thirst for knowledge and understanding. He says, you are the future. I'm totally the future. Yes, I know. I'm the future president. I know, Green Bear, but now the book. Okay, Willow the Water Bear. Willow the Water Bear was a curious little thing. Wait, but she wanted to do more than dance and sing. Well, where, where exactly is Willow? I see a snake. Uh, is that, no, is that a, that's a ladybug. Is she in there somewhere? Willow! I wish I was a superhero! Willow exclaimed. There she is. Look at that. She's even got a cape and everything, just like Green Bear has. I'd save people and everyone would know my name. You're perfectly fine, Mr. Tardy declared. But I want to be strong, Willow shared. Ah. What if I told you, Mrs. Gray declared aloud, that you're already a superhero. Be proud. Ah, see, the technical scientific name is Tardigrade. So this is Mr. Tardy and this is Mrs. Gray. See it, get it? Clever, clever Houston kid. I'm nothing special, Willow said with a sigh. Not special at all. I can't even fly. Mr. Tardy stood up and held out eight hands. Mrs. Gray did as well, as if it were planned. Ah, oh, eight hands, eight hands, and this is and, and, and a tardigrade has eight legs, so they must be tardigrades too. They're they're fellow water bears. Come with us, Willow. They both said politely. We'll show you a superhero. Hold on tightly. Where are they going? Whoa. So away they went, through the forest of trees, to the depths of the ocean where the pressure squeezed. Amazing, shouted Willow, but where's the superhero? Oh, he's moved, said a sea clam. Try looking near absolute zero. Near absolute zero, a confused Willow replied. That's right, said the sea clam. Nice meeting you, goodbye. Well, all right, goodbye, uh, there's a big sea clam and well, I guess we're moving on, but we did go under the sea, under the sea. Their adventure continued to the chilly Antarctic Ocean, where they met Mr. Krill, who approached them with caution. Because see, they're so tiny, teeny tiny. What brings you out here? Mr. Will whispered quietly, whispered quietly. We're looking for a superhero, Willow stated quite mightily. I'm afraid he's not here. In fact, you just missed him. He's left planet Earth, but he's still in the solar system. Oh, look at that. So they're in the Arctic. And look at the penguins. Thank goodness the penguins don't eat tardigrades because they're very tiny. They look like food. Left planet Earth, Willow shouted with fear. No worries, said Mrs. Great. 
Follow us, my dear. Scared but excited, Willow followed the two. What is that? Willow asked. Oh, wait! That's the moon! They arrived at the moon in the vacuum of space. Surely this must be where the hero awaits. Joe? Laz? What are you two doing here? Have you seen the superhero? Willow asked, full of cheer. Let's see, so there, there they are, floating in the space. There they are on the moon. Did they take a, a rocket ship there? I can't tell. They probably did, though. That is the best and most comfortable way to get to the moon. We're traveling with our family for a week on vacation. No superheroes here, just rest and relaxation. So they found their friends Joe and Laz up on the moon and they're on vacation, but no superheroes there? Huh. I want to go home, Willow the Water Bear cried. There's no such thing as superheroes. Admit it, you lied. We did not lie, Mr. Tardy said sharply. That's true, said Mrs. Grade. You accuse us falsely. Think about it, Willow, she said with a grin. What if all along the hero was within? You've traveled the world and the depths of the ocean to the chill of the Antarctic, where most life lacks motion. Well, that's true. Look at that. He zoomed through the air and pow and under the sea and through the stars. Oh, she's making a strong point. Just look where you stand in the vacuum of space. Name one other creature who could survive in this place. Have you figured it out? Is it all becoming clearer? Superheroes are real. Just look in the mirror. <gasps> yes, so Willow the Water Bear was a superhero. Sure, she can't fly, but she could go where? way out into outer space and survive. They can live in extreme conditions. And now in the back of the book, we get facts from a biologist. And one of the interesting things is tardigrades, water bears like willow can be found almost anywhere and live on every single continent, including Antarctica. Oh, I read about Antarctica in school and it is cold there. Brr. Yep. But Willow the water bear can live there. I, I don't think, uh, um, although I am technically a bear. Yes, yes, you are, Red Bear. I don't think that I am really built for extreme temperature conditions. I like it here at Kids Time Story Time where it's like a nice 70 degrees all the time. Yeah, that's, that's the storyteller here. She likes it at 70 degrees. I like it too. Also, I am like Willow in that I too am a superhero as you can see by my cape. Yeah, you're totally a superhero, except I also would rather stay in 70 degree temperatures. Yeah, 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 well, we're all family, so we all feel that way. But they think that tardigrades actually had more body parts in the past and that over time they developed to the point where they're basically a head and legs. Isn't that wild? And they have this tough exoskeleton surrounding them. And when they have, when they're full of water, when they're hydrated, they can live for a few months, but dried or frozen or in outer, even outer space, they can live for decades. All you need is a microscope to find a tardigrade living in your backyard, your school, your local playground. Ooh, Houston T. Kid, who dedicated the book and sent it to us for you, he is a decorated United States Navy veteran who is still serving in the reserves and also works in the movies as a stunt double. And he loves he loves helping kids get inspired to pursue science and follow their dreams. Wow. Houston T. Kid, Which is really a cool name, don't you think? I totally think so. Thank you for this wonderful book. And now we know that there are water bears. Yeah, and red bears, and pink bears, and green bears. Don't forget abuela bears. Yes, abuela bears make cookies. And then there's like other regular bears that aren't nearly as fun. Yeah, yeah, like grizzlies and black bears and panda bears, blah, blah, blah. But the most important bears of all are us, the Kid Time Story Time Bears. Yeah, we are number one. All right, kid. I hope that you enjoyed reading about Willow the Water Bear with our number one bear. Green bear and Red Bear. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time. Story time!